As many of you know, a feature film project based on the popular mobile game Five Nights at Freddy's is currently in development, and now it looks like they found their director. According to a report and Deadline, Gil Keenan, director of such films as Monster House, City of Ember, and the new Poltergeist, has been brought on to write and direct the new film. Five Nights at Freddy's challenges players to survive for five nights as a security guard in a demented pizza entertainment restaurant, where a homicidal possessed animatronics <laughs> roam the halls in search of their next victims. Mark, do you think Keenan is a good fit for a film like Five Nights at Freddy's? I just cannot tell you how much I love this concept as a film, how it could be like Night at the Museum meets Toy Story meets Child's Play, an amalgam <laughs> of all of those. It sounds like so much fun. Gil Keenan being the director to me, I want to give this guy a shot because I watched the new Poltergeist and I was ready to hate it. It looked awful from the trailers. He actually built up some suspense and had some nice moments of horror in the first half of that film. Where that film failed was when it had to follow the classic poltergeist model and couldn't quite get away from it now that gil keenan is writing and directing this he has all the freedom in the world to do whatever he wants with this source material and i think that he's earned a shot at making something like this and let's be honest if five nights at freddy's isn't great like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna quit my life right. you know i'm not gonna be like oh man that was my star wars like right. it ruined it, my childhood yeah, yeah. It, 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 it it could be fun it seems like it's gonna be a great uh, blend of humor and action and horror so let's give this guy a chance I actually, I like this news, to be honest, because I thought he did a very nice job. And also, and Poltergeist, look, everybody just acknowledge right up front, Poltergeist is a tall order to fill. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're, you get handed that as a director, and I thought he did a pretty decent job on it. I really like he, what he did with Monster House, City of Ember. He did a really nice job with that type of material. Now, we're moving into Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not quite sure what approach they're going to take. Are they going to go like a hard R kind of thing? Are they going to go with like a Goosebumps PG thing that's going to be more kid friendly. A lot is up in the air. One of the things I love about this game, though, that I think will lend itself well to the movie is it has a little bit of a portal feel to it in that portal is it actually incredibly funny because it's got this the, the computer voice constantly talking about there will be cake, you know, all that kind of stuff in portal. And the 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 answering machine stuff from the old, you know, uh, from the old security guard in the game is just hilarious. Some really, really funny stuff. So there's a lot of potential here. A lot will have to do what what tone they want to go for, how they're going to rate this thing. But right now on the surface, I think this is a good match. So I like the news. Yeah, it sounds to me like it'll be like an action comedy with some scares. Like, I don't think it'll be a hard R. I think they're going to go for like, you know, a fun kind of family adventure, but with these weird, you know, teddy bear animatronics that look really creepy. I like the idea of it. Sounds great. And I think Gil Keenan is a good director. I thought he did a great job with Monster House. I didn't like City of Ember, but that's just I didn't I didn't like the the story or it just felt like a bad execution of Logan's run or something. But you know, I think yeah, this is a, a cool idea. It's it's original, so I'm looking forward to it. And it's something that you always think about in the back of your head that could happen at Chuck E. Cheese after hours. That you always <laughs> imagine the country bears can come to life right. and start killing people. Now it's finally gonna happen. As a <laughs> kid, I, I as a as a young kid, because I had like like I have three younger siblings. Uh -huh. And so they're also like four or five years younger than me. So I'm like I'm like 12, right? Or I'm like 11 years old, and I got these four and five year old siblings running out. So they got all these stuffed animals. My my parents love getting them stuffed animals. And I would remember as a young kid, 10, 11 years old, planning out my contingency plan if these things come to life and decide to start attacking us. I remember, okay, we got to get the cushions from the from the Chesterfield and make a fort over here to barricade the thing off. And, you know, that's basically what this game has come you to life. You were like the Liam Neeson of Showbiz <laughs> Pizza. You, you, had all, you had a very particular set of skills. <laughs> That's I was right. ready. I was ready. Okay, you laugh at me now, but if those things came to life, we'll see. We'll see who's knocking on my fort to ask for protection at the time. Little right? Mark Ellis. <laughs> I didn't know they were real teddy bear choking him out. Yeah, <laughs> kangaroo hopping on him.